going on guys welcome back to the channel i appreciate those of you that are hanging out waiting for this stream to start those of you watching the replay though make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe and turn on all notifications so when we do these live chats you can take part right along with us so recent acquisition i decided to go with this it's a very green cardamom dominant fragrance the bottle's green i'm wearing bright green it just made sense i am going with lacoste match point eau de parfum it's actually quite nice just a regular casual wear it's quite nice very aromatic a little green and spiced woodsy very woodsy i like it i like it it's not special but at the same time it's quite enjoyable i put it in the a similar category to fragrances like coach green where that's not spicy like this is but it's still quite nice and i have a few sprays on each forearm so typically for a first impressions video like this i usually do them on skin and you guys know i'm not a big fan of the test strips but we are doing the test strips today i have to because i've got two sprays on top of each forearm and i'm very limited on real estate and i don't want to just spray a bunch of stuff because after the live stream we got a bunch of running around that we're going to do so i uh, i would rather just do the test strips and you know obviously the main event it was what we're going to start with we have this is Apex Eau de Parfum. We have Vertex, which is Paris Corner's version. So we're starting with the one I'm most excited about, and we are going to straight up side-by-side -side compare on test strips. How accurate is this? Because I have high hopes, because I'm a huge fan of Trillium. I hope it performs better than Trillium, but I'm a huge fan of Trillium. So let's get caught up on this chat real quick. We'll wait till about 10 minutes, and then we'll dive into it. For those of you getting here, make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way in adam tries to be the first to the streams every day i have to say kudos on the effort if you ain't first you're last <laughs> there are a lot of people have been using that ricky bobby thing lately guess 1981 la how did the day cowboys 59 50 sideline historic alternate for this year i have the saints one with sir saint no three-parter but i appreciate what you do heard you on the cologne podcast yeah i did that a while back that's some good guys mike and ryan are some good guys you're the most genuine, real, and most watchable guy of all that I follow in this niche of YouTube fragrance reviewers. F the haters. They hate you because they hate you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Adam. Which brings me to part three. It'd be interesting to get some of your hot takes, if you haven't already, on the more popular fragrances like Hachivat versus Ventus or Legend EDP versus Fierce, amongst others. Very quickly, uh, I take Legend EDP over Fierce 10 times out of 10. And the funny thing is we have Paris Corners version of Fierce right here. I didn't look at note breakdowns. I just, you can't tell me that's not fierce. I've seen the bottles in the thumbnail. It's fierce. I know going into it, it's going to be fierce. So it's funny that you say that. We have Paris Corners version of fierce right here. I have so many fragrances. I'm so familiar with fierce too on top of that. So it's kind of funny. But um, as far as Hachibot over Aventus, daily wear scenario, I would take Aventus every time. Dressier occasions, go having something to do with an event of some kind, a special occasion, a get together, a gathering. I'm going Hachibot. It's a it's a dressier, more oak moss dominant fragrance. So it depends on the setting on Hachibot or Aventus for me. Depends on the setting. Casually, Aventus for sure. Wearing an Oxford or something, or a little, you know, maybe it maybe a suit, Hachibot. So let's see. Good afternoon, everybody. Wearing Dior Home Sport 2021. Hell yeah, Frank. Jared's in the house. Let's remember to drop those sin of the days in the chats as we come in, folks. And, of course, slap that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel for consistency. You can become a member, too, which is pinned at the top of the chat. I appreciate that, Jared. The ultimate hype man in these YouTube fragrance live streams. What's going on, Gary? Happy Monday to you as well. Wearing Michael Jordan Legend. You smell like syrup and waffles with a little bit of coffee. Percival, excellent, excellent choice. Flicky TV's wearing arm off club in the week untold. Great. Dan, not the man, the best name on YouTube. Any new pickups? Uh, quite, a, quite a few. I got quite a few going on. Today's video was a haul of niche fragrances. Today's live stream is a haul of affordable clone fragrances, Middle Eastern clones. So a lot of hauls going on today. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about all of this, man, because I don't know if you saw today's haul, Dan. Like the, today's recorded video, man, two eights, two nines, and a 9.5. That's not a clickbait title and thumbnail. That is the highest rated haul I've ever had. Absolutely stunning fragrances. Two Carna Barcelona fragrances, one their newest release, which I put up there with Faces of Francis because it's so metallic. 
and it does get much more leathery for those of you that saw it as it dries it really becomes a leather fragrance um as well as two from noble 1942 finally got the wife loves the ladanza fragrance that was very feminine by the way and then an epico parfum that is a smoky bomb smoky spicy beautiful just full of bangers i know that word gets thrown around but man they, they're all right here still i got them my four that i get to keep are all right here my two uh oh man <laughs> my two carnal barcelonas and so on good stuff good stuff glad to have you though dan wearing terra nova for fuzz man what's going on my man cartier declaration justin copeland would be very proud Went back to good old Coco Loco. You can't go wrong there, Ethan. Good to see you. Amir Super Crush. Smelling like instant crush. Okay. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Send a day Legend EDP. Speaking of, best in the line, I agree. Even better than the Intense. The Intense was the king of that mountain until the EDP came out, I think. I think the EDP is better. The fit hat combo is fire. I just, I, I, it's been casual. I live at the beach now. So you're going to see a lot more sleeveless shirts and stuff going going forward i wanted to wear this shirt and it's like i know i have a lime green minor league hat so here we go <laughs> i try to plan accordingly with the fits no matter how casual my outfit is it's going to match it's going to coordinate some of you already know that about me but i appreciate that adam sin of peace smelling a bit like a ventus now kevin i'm just going to say this as biased as it's going to be you're the best smelling man in the chat wearing business over pleasure and uh, I will be joining Dedrick and Randy on Dedrick's live streams Thursday evening. Um, Randy sent a decant. Dedrick's doing a What's in the Bag episode, one of his live streams, those of you familiar. And one of them is a decant of Business Over Pleasure that Randy sent him. And he asked me to join him for the live stream. So I talked to Ded Dedrick this morning. Spectra Ghost never tried that. Boston Scent Parfum, the black bottle. Oof. It's the same fragrance as the Le Parfum that got re-released. There he is. Noah, Noah, I laughed my ass off when I saw your email. That's why I put ha 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 in my reply. Because guys, typically when I when you win giveaways and stuff like that, and I say something about having to verify your identity, it's usually I'll get you to say something specific in a comment. So he just took it upon himself to black out certain spots on his license and he sent me his driver's license to verify his identity. I laughed my ass off. I said that's typically not what we do, but that'll work. <laughs> it definitely proves who you are. So thank you for that, Noah. Um, getting all the packages out on Wednesday from the member stream this weekend. So Wednesday is the day I'll be able to head to the post office. So good to see you, my man. Intense to drop wise. Hey, Jeff, ooh, you're running a race with, with the gentleman wearing business over pleasure for best smelling, I have to say. Carnival Barcelona, I've never tried that one. Bota Fumero? Fumero? Fumero. Bota Fumero? Is that how you say that? I feel like I'm hitting the nail on the head here. I don't know. About another two minutes and we'll get into it. Noah with the 499 Super Chat. Thoughts? I've never tried it. I'm so limited when it comes to LV. I've only tried Ombre Nomad. I really need to like get a discovery set or something, which I'm sure the discovery set's like $100 or more. But I need to get a discovery set because you guys ask me about Louis Vuitton all the time. And I just I haven't tried any of their fragrances. Bunch of clones, but thank you for the Super Chat. Apo de Joe Parfum, pleasant scent. It doesn't get the love I think it deserves. Newt's in the house. Hello, everyone. Wearing YSL myself. Mix of the greatest hits from YSL. So far, I'm digging it. Sample, sample, sample. Yeah, that's probably the most polarizing release of the year when it comes to mixed reviews. It is like kind of what I remember this release being closest to is Spice Bomb, Night Vision, Eau de Toilette. Where there was people that, oh, it's the most basic, it's so generic, another Invictus release, all the copycats, that now Victor and Rolf's falling into the trend of not being original. It was all of that. And then there was people with me like, y'all are wild, this thing smells great. <laughs> you know, so that's the last time I remember it being this much of a mixed bag for a designer release was Night Vision EDT. Good to see you though, Newt. Damn, it smells good in the chat. Bond number nine, New York. Ooh, never tried that. Jason's in the house wearing Ood Lemon Mint. Hell, yes, yeah, sir, you smell great. The boss has arrived. Now we can start the stream. Could y'all own for Twisted Joe? Interesting name. I like that. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone. Ordered Emir Apilincha Flame to be delivered based on your Viking clone review. 
it's about as close as I've smelled for a Viking clone. Not that I've smelled a bunch of them, but it's pretty accurate. It's not one to one, but it's pretty damn close. It does the trick. I got to say, it does the trick. Wearing Adonis Awakens again. I can't say I blame you. 1981 L uh, Los Angeles from Guess. Spice and Black Vanilla by Crimo for Josh. Good to see you. Dino's in the house. Saw your earlier haul video and thought it was, <laughs> was kick ass. I even checked out the website. SOC is Transcendent Parfums Island of Gods. So that's what you're rocking today. Hell yeah. I appreciate you, Dino. Naxos again. That haul looked amazing. It was. I was so... Look, normally a five fragrance haul isn't going to go 32 minutes or whatever that video was. I had to apologize in video because I saw the raw footage like was at 32 minutes. I was at that ended up being an edited part. I had eliminated two minutes of through editing at that part where you guys saw me say that. So, man, it's there was just so much to cover. And I was just so impressed by those fragrances. Such great additions to this fragrance wall. Such great. It's very situational fragrances, though. Not stuff I'm going to wear all the time, but very so impressive. Check that video out, guys, for those of you that didn't. Sample some stuff that you should get some samples of. If you like what you hear and you like what you see in the No Breakdown, get some samples. They have samples available. I can't complain. Joe Malone. Ooh, let me admit, read that already. Like Blue Owen Tense. Hell yeah. So, damn, just missed it. Just got on lunch. Miss what? We're only 11 minutes in, which I need to go ahead and get into this video. Sean Hennessy's in the house wearing white Hinoki. Take that back. You might be the best smelling guy in the chat. Pink Panther. Never tried that. I like the name Suave's in there. Well, I'm, I appreciate you sharing that with me, Boz. I'm proud of you, my man. Yeah, I had a great chest workout today myself. Uh, pretty beat up, too. I lifted really, really freaking heavy. Really heavy today. Like, I'm, you can see it in my face. Like, I'm holding more water because I'm eating way more. Like, I'm, I'm hitting 3,500 to 4,000 calories now. I've really ramped it up and I'm strong as shit right now. This is the strongest I've been in a long time because I haven't been consistently in a surplus like this in a long time. But on that note, let me scroll. I got to skip ahead a little bit. I want to find a decent spot. Those noble frag fragrances are nice. I recommend you try Aqua Noble. Should be right up your alley. Just the name alone sounds like something I would like. I appreciate the recommendation. So I'm going to stop right here on Raf's comment. We're in Triumph of Bacchus. Hell yeah. Well, I'm going to stop on Joel. Hi, Joel. <laughs> we're about we're starting with one I know you're a fan of, Joel. So we're going to hang it, hang it up right here. Let me scroll down a little bit more. That's a good spot. Right where Newt says slap that like button. I appreciate that, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. So Obviously, Aroma Concepts did send these fragrances to me, by the way. I want to make sure to let you guys know. As per usual, that has absolutely nothing to do with what I think. I mean, those of you that watch these pretty consistently, you see there's definitely some misses. From time to time, I don't just like everything. Uh, but they did send them my way, and we'll see. Um, I have a feeling I might be crapping on the Fierce Clone because I have so many good Fierce Clones that it's, it's going to be hard for it to measure up. But this is the excitement of the haul for me. Their version of Apex. So I love Trillium, but Trillium's really weak. So again, I don't. The only thing I don't really care for about what Paris Corner does is they're they're ripping the bottles off. You know, kind of like how Fragrance World's been ripping the bottles off. But I gotta say, it does look cool. You know, it looks more like the Vetiver Parfum Cologne bottle than the Apex bottle. I mean, this is what it's cloning. I made sure to grab it so we can do a side by side. Because for those of you that just joined, we are going to do this on test strips because my sin of the day, I have multiple sprays on my forearms and I don't want to just have a ton of fragrance oil all over my body. So we're going to get into this here in just a second. I, I love the caps. So we are going to spray this first because it's probably got much more alcohol. So we're going to spray Vertex first. We'll check the notes after. The atomizer is... Better than Trillium, and this is much, much more citrus dominant, like the Parfum. The Parfum is where the citrus and the fruits really come out, uh, whereas with Apex Eau de Parfum, the first version, which is here, this is much more dense and green. I, I can tell you right now, the openings, this is more like the Parfum than it is this, just smelling it in the air. All right, so we have Vertex here from Paris Corner, and we have... Roger Parfum's Apex. Yeah, that's so fruity and citric, but very green. This is this is more like the scent profile of the Parfum at a low, lower oil concentration. 
and this is much more earthy and green. The openings are not the same. They're not. This smells awesome, but it is not the same opening as this. It's not. It's way more fresh and citrusy and very fruity. A lot of citrus. A little bit of pineapple. It smells great. Fresh greens. It's much more fresh green than earthy green. Whereas this is smoky and, and very rich and earthy. And miles different in quality. Miles different. I see in the corner mile you said the green comes out later. Joel, I figured you'd be weighing in the whole time because I know you already have experience with it. Ever since I saw your post, I was like, ooh, I need to get that at some point. It smells great. It's just not that accurate in the opening. Like, really not that accurate. Like, I would say maybe 50, 60% close in the opening. Now, this was out in the air and on a test strip, but, I mean, they're both on a test strip, so they should be relatively close, right? Yeah, this is just so much fresher. It's not even close. No, so so Charlie, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm not there on Streamyard, but I can see on YouTube your comment. No, so there is no parfum cologne. Like this isn't a parfum cologne. This came out first. This is an eau de parfum. Then six months later, they released Apex Parfum. It's the same formula, but the balancing came out different. You would think the lighter oil concentration, the citruses and fruits would come out more. No, the heavier one is more fruit dominant. It's weird the way it worked out. This is the more earthy fragrance in the opening. The dry down, they're very earthy and similar. But yeah, that's what it comes down to. So in the openings, I mean, there's not that big of a relation. This is more of an inspired by than clone of, I think. This has the opening of the parfum version of this, but it doesn't have the oil and oil concentration and density of the parfum version of this. It's probably going to dry down similar, but the openings are not that close. Paris Corner always makes it fresher at the start. That's true. It smells great, though. Let's pull up the notes. Let's do a split screen. Here we go. Vertex, $45 before the code, already sold out. <laughs> so orange, bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, pineapple, cystus, and jasmine. So you get all of this. The citrus and fruitiness, you get all of it in the opening. The base, cypress, ba fir balsam, oak moss, patchouli, whole bunch of green right there. Leather, musk, tobacco, olibanum, cashmere wood, juniper berries, labdanum, sandalwood, elemi resin, amber, galbanum, rum, ambergris, and benzoin. So just in the base alone, you have just as far as green notes that offer some form of green element, whether it be fresh, spicy, earthy, whatever. You got cypress, fir balsam, oak moss, patchouli. Juniper berries can come off a little green, but I'm not even going to really count that. Uh, galbanum definitely can come off a little green. So you got about five, arguably six different elements in this fragrance that can provide a green feel. And it is getting a little bit more earthy. But I have to say, it's going to naturally dry down faster on the test strip than it would have on my skin. So we will get into, we'll nuance quicker this way. So technically it's more ideal since we're doing a side-by-side. -side. It is getting much more earthy and a little bit woodsy on the paper. It smells great. It just doesn't really make me think a whole lot of Apex in the opening because Apex Eau de Parfum is just so much more woodsy, earthy, green, and smoky. I would say this is at best like a 70%, 75%. We'll call it 75% accurate. It's more inspired by than clone of. Now, will that change over time? Very well could. Like Joel is saying, it'll richen up as it macerates, which that happens a lot with these clone fragrances. They usually rush in the market. I like it. It's just if you're looking for accuracy, this ain't it. This is not the most accurate thing. It smells fantastic. 
It really does. It smells fantastic. It just doesn't smell super similar to this. Like I said, about three quarters of the way. It's about three quarters. I think that's fair. With that, I think it's a 7.5, three quarters. We'll stick with that. 7.5 out of 10. It's a very good fragrance. If it was pretty much spot on, like 90% or better, even in the opening to the heart, probably be like an 8, 8.5. It wouldn't be a huge jump in grade, but it'd be a jump in grade for sure because a lot of people are going to be looking for it to smell closer to this. Again, as they get deeper into the dry down, I'm sure they just get closer and closer and closer to each other. But where we stand right now, it's just fresher. It's more fresh green than earthy, smoky green which isn't a bad thing. It smells really good. So I think that 7.5 out of 10 is actually more than fair considering the accuracy or lack thereof. So let's get caught up on this chat because I know I'm getting pretty far behind. Let me scroll down a little ways. Okay, so your actual name is Richter. I didn't know that. Kalitaly. Kalitaly was how, is, how you pronounced it earlier because I asked him, to, I tagged him. And um, which video was it? Yesterday's video. Was it yesterday's video? No, it was Saturday's video. Yeah, I tagged him in Saturday's video. So, and I asked him, please tell me how to pronounce your name properly. So I follow him on TikTok and he, he, he watches the channel a lot. So I appreciate you doing the tag. He made sure to let me know. Um, he does. He did his TikTok video and then he shared it on an IG and everything and tagged me. So I appreciate you, my man. Glad you're able to make it. Tobacco Rose, that's good stuff. First few times you wore Assad, did it perform well or did it wind up let no it, it performed great right out the right out the packaging for me. Yeah, it was good right from the start. Looks like a Raja bottle copy. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Yeah, it's more of a twist, I think. What do you think, Joel? Because I mean I'm sure you weighed in further. I'm getting caught up. Because you've had it for a little while now. You've had it like what, two months or something like that. You've had it for a little while. In a good mood, working out, make you feel good. Sure does. Hell yeah, that's good to hear. The green comes out later. Okay, so I already answered that. Not a green fan. Usually I do like vetiver and greenly. It's better after sitting and macerating as usual. Paris corn always makes it fresher at the start. Yeah, because, I mean, Trillium's like that. Trillium's way fresher than Elysium Parfum Cologne. Like, it's surprising. And I've had it for a while now, and it's still the case. It hasn't changed. Yeah, I, I fragrance dropped that several days ago. I saw some people uh, overseas already have it. I'll get it. When, when I can get my hands on it, I'll get it. And I'm sure I'm going to overpay. All of us are going to pay more than we should that are going to get it early. It'll probably be like 60 something dollars and be like, damn, if we'd have waited. We could have got it for 40 but hype. We'll all buy into it. All of us that like Hawass are going to try to get the damn thing. We'll see. Yeah, I've seen the notes. It, just go to ifragranceofficial.com or if you're not following I fragrance on IG, you really should be, guys, because they're the first to drop info every time. Yeah, it smells really good. That's why I gave it a pretty good rating. Like, it's not a bad fragrance at all. It's just not super accurate. It smells really good. I can see why it's sold out. I'm sure people are enjoying it. Not yet. I haven't smelled it yet, Rick. I do want to try that one, though. I've been seeing posts about it and kind of trying to avoid people's opinions on it because I'm going to get my nose on it. I'm going to get it at some point. Um, some things I'm quicker to get than others. It depends on my my personal level of excitement. And though I do really want to try it, it wasn't at like the top of the list, uh, which is why I'm in no rush to check out why I sell myself. For example, like I really don't care. It's not that serious. Eventually, I'll try it. Whereas with Gucci Guilty Elixir, obviously, my excitement level is much higher than that one. Um, I just need to get around to it. There's always, there's always something else comes up, but no, not yet. But if you have, don't tell me <laughs> if, I think that's what you're leading into. Don't tell me if you have, I don't want to be influenced. Ego East, good stuff. You got it right. Good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Notice that the clones that are richer and better clones than the fresher ones. That's fair. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet. That's what we were just talking about. I haven't tried it yet. That's what I'm saying. It, it, I prefer, like, I actually prefer, believe it or not, that this doesn't smell identical because I'll reach for it now. Because I don't always want super earthy and smoky. While I think this is incredible, I don't reach for it all that much because it kind of begs me to dress it up, and I don't dress up a whole lot. 
I have way more fragrances to dress that dress up than I should. Cause I don't, this is me most days, you know, most days is what you're looking at right now. Um, casual and or fitness apparel. Not all the time, but most of the time. This is nice though. This is much more casual. This is fruity fresh. This is a lot less serious. I'll definitely reach out. I'm probably going to wear this this week. I'll probably wear it this week. I like it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, my man. I appreciate that. I don't think that's what it's going to be. I saw the notes. I don't remember the notes. I know there's a lot of citrus and a little bit of sweetness, but I have a feeling it's going to be something different. I'm going to laugh if it smells like Invictus Aqua so I can do the I told you so to everybody. Everybody that's argued with me over the last couple of years about Hawass came out before Invictus Aqua and it, it's not, it's, it smells like Invictus more than Invictus Aqua. I, In fact, I hope Hawass Ice is Invictus Aqua so I can say I told you so to people. But I have I don't think it's going to be. There's so many people argue with me when I'm like, for God's sakes, even look at the juice color. It smells like Invictus, spicy Invictus, not spicy Invictus Aqua. I think people just get confused because Invictus Aqua was so much more popular at one point and that they were so close together because Invictus came out a few years before Hawass, which Hawass did come out the year before Aqua 2016. It did. People are right about that, but it smells more like regular original Invictus. Anyways, that's why like I'm, I'm to the point. I hate I hate when Hawass fits a topic perfectly because I hate talking about Hawass because I hate reading and or answering the comments that come with talking about Hawass. Because people just, people are something when it comes to Hawass, man. Me and Dadrick talked about it this morning. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I paid my $50 for. I loved it. I popped. I popped real hard when the lights went out. Um, I'm glad he got to keep his music and just had to twist the, instead of you think you know me, it's you think you know him with a different woman voice. Um, I'm here for it. Like, I don't know if you saw my IG post after. I tagged AEW, which I'm sure they didn't see. And I said, you know, congratulations. You have a legitimate mega superstar on your hands now. That fills the void of the stardom that Punk brought. So CM Punk's officially going to be an afterthought now because, because Adam Copeland's a mega, a mega superstar in the wrestling world. So he's an all-time great. There's arguments for him being on some people's Mount Rushmore's because of what he's accomplished and his relevance and all that and the way he's been able to change over the years, just all of it. It made sense that he came in as a baby face because they were not going to accept him as a heel. The fans were going to be too excited. Nobody was going to accept him as a heel. They can do a heel turn edge and Christian tag later. I think that's what they'll build to eventually, but he needs to be a baby face for now. Just like he did when he came back at the Rumble. He had to be a baby face for a little while before he turned heel. It's just what it is. People love him too much to let him be a heel. Kind of like what happened with Max. Like Everybody loves Max too much to let him be a heel. So now he's got to be the lovable heel, basically, is what his character has evolved to. I'm predicting Invictus Aqua first for me. Possibly. Pardon my redundancy. Another 13 by Lila Bo. Anna, good to see you. Lanoui Delome. I marked out. Couldn't help myself. I mean, I did too. I was so excited. I screamed, fuck yeah, and started clapping and everything. Because that's what I was waiting for. This whole reason I watched pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, they had some great matches. Don't get me wrong. The AEW's pay-per-views always deliver for the 50 bucks. But that was what I that was what I needed. Of course, you speculate, well, since the TNT championships at the end, it's he's definitely coming. And then they swerved. The only doubt was when they swerved with the uh the Nick Wayne heel turn. But when he went grab to, and I mean, I'm sure every fan that was every smart fan watching, when he went grab two chairs, said, Holy shit, concerto, this is it. <laughs> Because that's what I did. I literally said it out loud to my damn self watching it. Holy shit, concerto, this is it. Like, this is going to be the spot. Sure enough, lights went dark. It was great. Well, that's the thing. That's a, that's a, a real positive influence in the locker room that everybody's going to want to listen to because it's, it's fucking Adam Copeland. It's Edge, you know? Yeah, it smells so much more like the original Invictus, man. I did. I did. So Megalium, it's funny that you say that. Megalium was mentioned in the comments. Somebody else seconded what you're saying. Um, so apparently I need to check it out. 
Still roses must today in our autumn perfect perfume. Kate Alfresson's my scent of the day. Still getting some hot days here in the Midwest, so it's still a good reach. And then we're after Josh's comment, we'll get into another one. I keep comparing that return to the Rumble, so I was a bit bummed. Well, look, I popped pretty hard for the Rumble, too. That was awesome. Royal Rumble 2020 for those that need a reference. But let's go ahead and get into what I think could potentially get kind of crapped all over. Furious for man. So I'm not going into it hoping to. It's just I have so many really good versions of Fierce, like Alexandria's version, for example, is phenomenal. Of course, Percival, the ultimate of the ultimate, all the legend versions. That's a heavy bottle, though. I got to say, same cap as Alham Alhambra's uh, tobacco and Rose Oud. That cap looked familiar, guys. That's the same cap. So here we go. Furious for Man with the midsection printed at the top. Pandora Sense line. Concave bottle. This is a heavy bottle. Very, very heavy bottle. I don't trust the cap. It holds. It doesn't click, but it holds really well. Let's grab a test strip. Let's see how much of Fierce this actually is, shall we? Good atomizer. Pretty good. Let me readjust this focus. It actually smells pretty damn accurate out in the air. We'll see. That is pretty accurate. I got to give it to him. I was prepared to crap on this one. It's a bit muskier from the start than Fierce, but it's pretty damn close. It's fresh, it's spicy, it's got that little bit of fruitiness to it, that apple smell. Full of that cologne, 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 however you say it. That aroma chemical that was made famous in the 90s has kind of that spicy, musky green smell to it. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's in everything that smells like fierce. It's what smells like fierce, basically. Mixed with that musk in the woods. This is pretty damn good, actually. They did good. They did good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Because there's just so many good ones out there. It's like there's bound to be some subpar ones. I mean, I'm sure there are. But honestly, I haven't really come across one that I was like, ah, what, what junk. I still haven't found that fierce clone that's just crap. It's just a timeless DNA. If you, if you like certain synthetic fragrances, like you know Sava your Ambroxan heavy Sauvage like fragrances, or your Cologne heavy Fierce like fragrances, this smells really good. Let's pull the notes up. Damn, this smells good. I didn't see that coming. Thirty-five bucks sold out. Damn, they've been selling through these. Fir, lemon, orange, pedigree, cardamom, sea notes, rosemary, lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, sage, musk, vetiver, oak moss, Brazilian rosewood, and sandalwood. So all of these spicy greens, your cardamom, your rosemary, mixing with that fresh green pedigree, that and the musk, that is very much. There's, there's cologne in here, even if it's not listed, because this smells pretty accurate. Like, I'm surprised. It's unfortunate that it's sold out. I mean, that's a good thing for them, right, that they're selling through it. But in case anybody wanted to grab it, because you can get it for low 30s after the code if, if you were interested. I'm not saying anybody should get it, but if you were looking for a Fierce clone, it's pretty damn good. Now, I would have never guessed something like Rosewood. Just straight up smells like fierce. Like I, I can't even begin to tell you anything I would think comes across any different. I mean, based on that, it's a, it's a 7.5 out of 10 as well. Cause I can't say I want to reach for it over Percival or legend EDP. Cause I don't, but I mean, it's up there. It's up there. I would say this is easily in the top five most accurate fierce clones that I have up there with ferocity from Alexandria um, I would say Mercedes-Benz Man, because that's actually really accurate, too. Um, 
Why am I drawing a blank? Percival, Legend EDT, and Legend EDP. Yeah, it's up there with those. I put it up in that upper upper tier. It's pretty spot on. I need to bring this with me next time I go to Louisiana, which is going to be Thanksgiving. I let my cousin smell it and see what he says. Because Fierce was a signature scent for years and years and years. I just want to see what he says. I need to remember to bring it. Yeah, this is pretty spot on. This is pretty spot on. We're going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Furious for man. This also gets a 7.5 out of 10. It's not mind-blowingly good like, oh, God, get this instead of Percival. No. I don't know if I'll ever come across one that I say get over Percival. Percival's that good. But it's pretty damn close. And it's not letting off. It's strong as hell on this test strip. It is not letting back at all. My wife's going to love this, by the way. My wife loves Fierce. She loves the DNA. Silver Mountain Water scent profile, Fierce scent profile. That's her two. That's the two DNAs. This smells so synthetic, but so spicy green good. Spicy green goodness right here. Musky. Super, super musky. They did really good. I'm impressed. They did really good. It's not the best of the year. There's others. Like, I wouldn't put it over Camaro Ohm Intense. I wouldn't put it over Rifakat. Uh, I definitely can't put it over those two. Um, what else? Vibrant Vetiver Delight. My new love. But they did pretty good. So let's try one that I've never smelled the original to. So Black Extremo. Probably Black XS, I would think. Paco Rabanne. I've never smelled the original, but that's what I think this is. And I have no freaking clue. I have no idea. I'm assuming that's what it is. Again, so I don't know. I can't tell you how accurate or inaccurate it's going to be because I've never smelled it. Black XS. Bottle kind of goes down the path. Nothing special going on here with the bottle. Plastic. Holds okay into place. It's all right. Let's see what we're working with. Let's give it a spray. Very controlled spritz. I think the fierce clone wore my nose out a little bit. Not a good thing. Ooh, it's like a sweet citrus. Not a dark fragrance. Something called Black Extremo. You would expect an intense or dark fragrance of some kind. It's actually kind of a sweet citrus. A little fruity, but more of a sweet citrus smell. It's nice. Very misleading bottle and name. Very misleading. <laughs> I like it, don't love it. I like it, don't love it. Let's pull up the notes. It's got some kind of sweet citrus here. Black Extremo. 35 bucks. This sold out too. Is it just everything's out of stock on the website right now? What the hell's going on? C notes, Italian lemon plum, Italian iris. I would have never guessed iris. Leather, woody notes, patchouli, and vetiver. Really? I could kind of get a little bit. I wouldn't have guessed iris, but a little bit of a soapy floral. Yeah. So plum is probably what's making the lemon smell sweet. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But leather, I don't get any of that. Woody, yeah. And with patchouli, if anything, I would say it's the creaminess I'm smelling, but I don't get a distinctive patchouli smell. C notes for the freshness. That's what's making it real juicy because, like I said, it's got a sweet citrus smell to it. That's what that combination of notes is doing for me. C notes, Italian lemon, plum, and iris is making a sweet citrus accord on this paper. It is getting a little bit more soapy floral as it settles. And it is getting better as it settles. It's getting a little bit more musky and creamy. But still, you would think this is a dark fragrance from the name, the look, all that stuff. Not at all. Very misleading. And if it is indeed black excess, that could be the case. Let's see. 
Let's see what the note breakdown for Black XS is. I could be wrong. I, I don't know if this is what it is. So that's definitely not the same note breakdown. But I was thinking this bottle. That's the bottle I was thinking. Okay, so that's kind of similar. Sweet, fruity, synthetic, gourmand, woody, lemon, lavender, ozone, ozonic notes, whatever the hell this is. So kind of similar. I don't know what it's supposed to be then. That's the bottle I was visualizing. And that could be the case. I don't know. But the accords make sense because that's the kind of accords I'm getting from it. It doesn't do anything special for me, but it's nice. It's not off-putting. I think it's better than good. 6.5 out of 10. I can't guarantee I'm going to want to keep revisiting it and going back to it, but it's not bad at all. It smells really good. It's just not it's not super inspiring because um, I really like how accurate Furious was, and Vertex just smells great. So they're naturally going to be rated higher. This is 6.5 out of 10. This, it's good stuff, not great stuff. Yeah, this one might have to grow on me a little bit or something, but it's okay. Let's get caught up on these comments a little bit before we get into these last two. Oh, that's that's steps spot. That was nasty. That looked painful. A lot of the spots Darby does looks painful. I don't know how the kid's walking. Well, young man, I don't know how he's walking. Nice run down. French Riviera. It's a little addicting in warm weather. It's funny. That's going to be featured in tomorrow's video. It's funny that you say that. <clears throat> Favorite moment. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, when he landed under the ring. My favorite singular moment? Mm, I don't think I can pick a singular moment. I can tell you the moment that had me the most psyched up as a kid was the 95 Royal Rumble. Shawn Michaels and British Bulldog at the end. I was super hyped about that when I was a kid. I can give you that for a moment. When he went over the top but was hanging and only one foot touched and he flipped back over the rope and threw him out. So he could go to WrestleMania 11 against Diesel. Yep, that that was a great moment as a kid. So I can do that as a callback for sure. Now, <laughs> there you go. Such a cool note. Yeah, very much. Very much on par with Mercedes-Benz Man. So that's how far behind I am. So I got to skip ahead. You're spot on that Mega Mayor clone. It's good. But Sphinx makes something like it better called Oceanic Symphony. Costs way more. It does. It does, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chaos in the Ocean is good, and Oceanic Symphony is indeed like a niche take on it, but it's still cheaper than Mega Mare, I think, because it is very similar. It's really good, really zest sharp, like mouth-watering, almost zesty without a spice, like not zesty, zingy. Zingy is the word I'm looking for. It's a zingy lemon, whereas it's much more musky, salty, with a chaos in the ocean where the first time you spray like wow this is synthetic but as you wear it you understand more that it's just the composition compared to these other ones we're talking about yeah it's way more synthetic but when you just spend a little time with it that's probably what you're referring to with me being spot on that's that's what it is you wear it a couple of times and you understand the fragrance a lot more than that initial spray um that was one that i had to realize what what it what it really was what i thought and what reality was were two different things from the first spray to like the fifth spray you know <clears throat> could be because yeah i've never smelled black excess i just thought of that bottle so let's see if it's black afghano let me i don't know because i have absolutely no idea i'm drawing i have no clue what it's supposed to be nasamaru so of course Parfumo doesn't give me any notes. It just gives me accords. Smoky amber woody cannabis. No, definitely not black Afghan. No, not, not even close. No, tobacco, coffee, cannabis. No. Yeah, so I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's not that, though. Definitely not. No. No. <laughs> That's not even close to the relation of scent profile. Definitely not. 
this is like i said it's a sweet citrus woody kind of fragrance definitely not anything crazy like that Aronda is phenomenal it used to be a hype beast pink panther is a clone of trasardi black extreme okay let's go to that note breakdown then i might as well do it with you guys Why clone that? Holy crap, yeah, it sure the hell is. Pretty accurate note breakdown. That's not an expensive fragrance. At least I don't think it is. Why the hell would they clone that? Well, yeah, you nailed it. That's almost the same note breakdown. Yeah, sweet. It's got a sweet citrus smell. Very surprising. Well, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> now I know. I mean, it was when Hogan slammed the giant. There you go. Michael Gasway, speaking of synthetic fragrances your wife loves, whatever happened to Mercedes-Benz Club silver bottle? She does. I just never wear it, so she forgot about it. It's up there. That's where all the Mercedes fragrances are. Literally, this line has all the club fragrances. That's Club Blue. It's at the front. Right there. It's right there. All right. Uh, oh, Danielle's in the house. It's a love for me. So we're going to go ahead and get in the next one. We're actually caught up. Uh, not really. No, I don't. But thank you for typing it every couple of seconds. <laughs> I see you did it a few times. Uh, no, I do not. I do not. So let's go ahead and get into, I believe this is a lady's fragrance because the last one was Bitter Peach. And my wife loves it. This is another Tuscan fragrance. This is Marina. So I'm assuming it's a women's line as a whole. I don't know which fragrance this is supposed to be. Ooh, but I like this gradients to this color scheme more than the last one. Ooh, that's a pretty bottle. It's got this mango passion fruit kind of gradients going. I'm sure that kind of relates to the scent profile. That's probably what's going on, something along those lines. Here we go. Sprayed right away. Give that a second. Let's spray it in the air. I want to say peach and some other type of sweet fruit. Hmm. Ooh, this smells like fresh cut strawberries, peaches. It's an exotic fruit bowl type of smell. I don't know what this is supposed to be cloning, but it smells great. It's definitely a women's fragrance. Very feminine. Wife's going to be super happy. It smells so good. It smells like an exotic bowl of fruits. Absolutely what I get. An exotic bowl of fruits. We're not even going to mess around because I don't know what to expect. We're going to go and take a look at what the note breakdown is for Merino. Oh, let me do the screen share. So $33. Tropical orange and grapefruit. Well, there you go. Lily of the Valley, jasmine, and peach. Musk, black currant, and amber. So the fruits are black currant, peach, grapefruit, and a tropical orange. It smells like a exotic bowl of fruits, like I said. Very feminine, but very juicy, sweet fruit, sweet, fresh fruits. Fresh cut. Like I said, a bowl of cut fruit. Man, this is good. This is good. This is not for me. This is absolutely for my wife. This is not for me. But this is so, so good. It might be a Tom Ford fragrance, but it doesn't smell like Lost Cherry. And Bitter Peach was the other one from the last live stream like this from last week. The other Tuscan fragrance I've reviewed. I forgot the name of it, but it was a peach colored bottle. That was Bitter Peach. This isn't. This is something different. A hard to not like. I think Historia's the, the Parfums has one that was great. I mean, this one, orange. No, that's what I'm saying. This one, I don't know. It's it's not a Tom Ford. I mean, if it's a Tom Ford, it's a Tom Ford I haven't smelled. And I don't know which Tom Ford it would be. But it's definitely not Bitter Peach. Oh, yeah, of course I do. I didn't leave it. <laughs> of course I do. It's 
Siege Chronicle? Sea Chronicle? Not familiar. Don't know if it was asked before, but what team is on your hat? I'm assuming, yeah, it's minor league baseball, and I don't remember. When I bought it, I don't remember. It's been a couple of years. I bought it from Hat Club. That's why it's got the, let me pull this down. It's got the Hat Club exclusive pin. I don't, I don't remember which team, but yeah, it's minor league baseball. Love the minor league baseball hats. 100% buy just off if the hat looks, what I, if I like the hat. I don't give a shit which team it is. Aside from when I got the Mississippi Braves, I really wanted that. The red, red crown blue bill. Really wanted that. I love that's like my favorite minor league hat that I have. Besides my baby cakes and Zephyrs hats, New Orleans. May they rest in peace. We don't have the team anymore. They used to be the Zephyrs, then they were the baby cakes. Now they don't exist. That black current settling in more. It's getting a little bit more tart. It's not as mouth watering. Carolina Mud Cats. Might be. Might be. I don't remember. No, it's something noodlers, the noodlers, I believe. I think, I think I'd have to go look at my track, my orders. I mean, you got me wondering now. Move the mouse over here so I don't have to keep twisting. Let's see if I can look at past orders real quick. Because you got me wondering too. Hold on one sec, guys. My orders. Let's see how far back it'll go. How long ago was that? 2017 Braves inaugural patch alternate pink under pink under visor. The diamond. So that was the cotton candy pre-order. That was like 2018. So it might be there's some A's. Let me look through my orders. Another Octo Slugger, Burnt Orange. There was another pre order. Where's all my mind? Because I bought a bunch at once. There's the Stockton Ports. Tulsa Drillers Noodlers hat. That's what this is. Yep. Lime Green Royal. Ha, ah, the good old days. With my discount, I got it for $30.40. Good luck getting a hat from hat club for $30 and 40 cents. Cause I have an OG discount code. Cause I'm one of their inaugural members from hat club first started. Yeah. So it's uh the Tulsa drillers. This is like an alternate, the noodlers, but the Tulsa drillers. So there you go. But back to the fragrance. Sorry for those that don't care about hats. It's so bright, so fresh. It smells good. It's honestly the most attractive like, it's an 8 out of 10. This is the most attractive fragrance by far. It's just not for me to wear. It's definitely way too feminine. But my wife is going to love this. I mean, she is going to love this. I can't wait. She's probably going to spray this. on. She She's not wearing anything yet today. She's going to be wearing this. She's going to love this, guys. I'm telling you right now. Any ladies, Anna, if you like a fresh cut bowl of exotic fruits, think about that and how that would smell. Not just peach and black currant and stuff like that. Like, think about that. An exotic bowl of fruits, a fruit bowl, if you will. That's what this smells like. Juicy, mouth-watering, delectable, delicious smelling. That's what I get here with Marina. This is beautiful. Very tropical. Could I get away with it if I really wanted to wear it? Sure. But I think it's, I think this is right up my wife's alley. I think she'll love this fragrance. Uh, so I did a shorts video on my other channel yesterday, just kind of glancing through it, but I am doing a hat collection video. It's going to be on my other channel, TLTG Vlogs. So make sure to subscribe to TLTG Vlogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> the minor league hats too. You never run into someone with the same one. Yeah, for sure. Tulsa Noodlers. Yep. OG afternoon. We're in first instinct to stream. Good stuff. I don't. Not at all. Because I like rose. It's a very fresh and spicy rose fragrance. I don't find it all. 
I, I don't think anyways, I, I can see people that aren't used to it thinking it's super feminine, but nah, once you get to a certain point where you've smelled so many fragrances and you just look at, you, you start to appreciate scent profiles differently and you're wearing it for yourself instead of to smell good for others, you're not, you're not going to look at feminine and masculine the same when it comes to fragrances. If you're not there yet, you'll get to that point. I don't think you're there yet based on the question, but you'll get there to where you'll stop worrying about stuff like that. You wear what you think smells good. You don't give a shit what other people think. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. That's one of the best freshies from the house. Uh, that's an easy 8, 8.5 out of 10. So it reminds me kind of like the vibe of, of the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It doesn't smell the same. So it doesn't have the peppery note or the, the incense. But it has that breezy, fresh and airy, watery citrus smell. It's a very airy, light and airy fragrance, but it's not weak. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance for the summertime. That's a top five fresh fragrance from the house, in my opinion. Top 10 overall fragrance from the house. Incredible, incredible fragrance. I actually did a full review on that one. Have a good unisex, love a good unisex peach note like an Argos Palace Athene or Guerlain Santal Royale. Santal Royale. Oh man, that's crazy good. I just answered that. Popping in late. What's up, Ross? Oh, not a whole lot, man. We got one more fragrance to go. One more, which I couldn't find. So I go to the website to pull the bottles to put in the thumbnail and they didn't have it. So that's how I know this isn't on the website. So it got me curious. So I said, let me go to Paris Corner's website. They don't have it either. So I couldn't find anything because it made me like because I had to bust it open and so I could take a picture of the bottle to put in the thumbnail. So it got me searching like this is going to be truly blind. There's no note breakdowns that I've seen anywhere or anything like that. Like I started looking since I couldn't find it to pull a bottle for a picture. I started looking and I couldn't find anything. So this is called Glorify. It's in the Amir range. It's Paris Corner. I have no idea. No idea. I've never heard of it. We're not going to be able to confirm or deny what I think I'm smelling. It's just whatever I'm smelling is what the hell I'm smelling. And that's what we're going to have to go off of. Call Glorify. If it looks like a certain bottle to you guys, by all means, sound off in the comments. Because I don't know what we're what we're dealing with here. I love a couple feminine leaning fragrances. Now, yeah, the further you get along in this journey, your olfactive kind of, you know, venture, if you will. You'll stop looking at things as like there's a bunch of fragrances that are for women that I enjoy a bunch at this point <clears throat> are ones that lean very feminine. Like I love rose fragrances now. I always kind of like them. I love rose now. Like I love iris. Two of my favorite notes are flowers. Just tried wave musk, man. I like it. That's another one. That's a top five freshie from the house. I get all my hats from lids. I get most of my stuff from lids. But there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of custom places now. It's not just Hat Club. There's a ton of them that do customs, and like that's where I get a lot of uh, like the the A with the hatchet for the Braves. I got a bunch of custom colors of that. The Astros. I got a ton of custom Florida Marlins. A bunch of custom Florida Marlins. Um, I bought stuff. New Era does it now. New Era does their drops every week or every couple of days, really. If you want custom colors from different teams. You can just go to neweracap.com. They they always have drops. So it's it's not as hard to get hats as it used to. There was a stretch when I got away from the hat club because as soon as stuff would drop, I'd be there waiting, refreshing two minutes before, and my site, as soon as it goes live, the second it would go live, I'd add my size to cart, sold out when I go to checkout because they had bots. And just like with buying shoes, how it was bots were doing everything. Now it's not like that anymore. Now hats will sit long enough to where they go on sale sometimes. So I'm glad that's been rectified. It's not as bad as it used to be. It might be. I don't know. Watch this be Orion. Now that you're saying that, it could be. I don't know. We're going to find out. But I need to grab another test strip. I'm, I'm shy of one. I need one more. But so far, we've had a meh, like black extremos. Eh, it's okay. Furious. The Fierce Clone surprised me. Vertex, not that accurate. Before we jump into it, let's check Vertex. Not that accurate in the opening, but still smelled great. It's getting much more earthy, woodsy green, but not all that smoky. 
Like the original's way smokier. This is Apex. This is Vertex. I like that it's not that accurate to it. It's kind of its own thing, kind of inspired by with the twist, if you will. I like that it's like that. It's going to make me reach for it more. I prefer that. So here we go. Let's see what we're working with here with Glorify. Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water. That was easy. <laughs> that was super easy. <laughs> yeah, it's metallic. It's not one-to-one, -one, though. There's a twist here. But it's inky metallic, fresh musky. Actually, it smells more like Mephisto because I don't get the herbal feel. It smells a little floral. That's why I'm thinking it's Mephisto. I think it's more like Zerzhoff Mephisto than it is Creed Silver Mountain Water. I could be wrong, but that's how it smells on the paper. But it's in that family. They're ki akin to one another. One's more musky and floral. One's more herbal and inky. <laughs> but they're pretty much the same. That's what's going on here. It's somewhere, I think it's more like Mephisto. So I do get a little bit of a soapy floral smell to it. I don't get any any herbal tea. I don't get any of that here on the paper. On skin might be different, but very much Silver Mountain Water with a twist or Mephisto-ish. I like this, though. The wife's going to love this. So we got two that the wife are going to love because she's a Silver Mountain Water girl and a Fierce girl. She loves those both. Yeah. That's what it is, and I can't undershoot it. It's one of my favorite scent profiles ever. I think this is an 8 out of 10, too, glorified just on paper, just, just this quickly, because it was immediately, this is what it is. I think it leans more to Mephisto, which I, I'm like Mephisto more than Silver Mountain Water. Um, not much more. I mean, I love both of them. I love the DNA as a whole, but I prefer Mephisto. And this leans more to Mephisto. It's an 8 out of 10. Yeah, for sure. Glorified. Don't know where you can get it. As of right now, you can't get it on Aroma Concepts website. I don't know. I can't find a note breakdown. I can't find a nothing for this. It's a little soapy floral powdery. That's what leads me to believe it's more like Mephisto, but it still has that fresh citric musky. Doesn't really have the inkiness. So clean. God, this is so good. Yeah, this is an easy 8 out of 10, guys. Glorify is really good. Glorify smells much better than Clubbed Into We Siage, if I'm being honest here. So, hold on one second. So, sorry about that. Had a call. I don't mute the watch just in case something important pops up. That way I'll get alerted. But I mute my phone. Yeah, this is fan freaking tastic. Very much impressed. So, let's check Vertex one more time. This was a 7.5. And I'm sticking to it. It is the best fragrance of the group. Even though Glorify has got a half a point higher rating, I'll wear this more. Because it's... It's this, but not near as earthy. It's more fruity and fresh than it is earthy and dark. I like this. I like this. A lot of people are going to like this. Furious. That is straight up fierce. Very musky green. Pretty accurate, too. And then Black Extremo was just, eh, it's okay. I gave it 6.5. And I still feel that way. It's just okay. Kind of underwhelming. The two highest rated fragrances of the last one, the women's fragrance, Marina and the Teskeen line. God, this smells so good. This is the best smelling fragrance here, the women's fragrance. This is the best smelling fragrance of these five. Whew. I know 
my wife's not wearing anything yet. She sprays before we leave because we got we got stuff we got to go do. So I know she's waiting because she has no, she knows I'm doing an unboxing and she never knows when there's something to be for her. And that could, I mean, it happened for this morning's video, but she's definitely going to spray this and we're, she's going to love it. I can't wait to smell this on her. I can't wait. It's going to be great. And this is definitely an eight out of 10 more like Mephisto. I'm th I'm saying that's more Zerge off Mephisto. Yeah, I'm sticking to it. Uh, the only branded bills hat that I have is a custom from Icon de Parfum that they sent to me. It's a burgundy one with the leather. It's the Icon de Parfum logo and leather. It's actually really nice. Supremacy Silver, smelling like Aventus. Hell yeah. I was looking at Sicily and heard it has a super prominent citrus note. Wanted something toned down. Well, it's got a lot of yellow floral lang, -lang too. Very juicy floral smell. So you got to keep that in mind, too. Sicily's incredible. Sent to the Bay, one of the best names on the tube. On the road back from Orlando, long weekend. But got to see no effects. Ooh. I'm kind of jealous. Send of Days do a great life. Their take on Davidoff, good life. Morsk, Sol Batik, Tom Ford lost Cherry. Let's see. Also love old school Sheepers that were originally targeted for a woman, but are unisex like Clinique's Aromatics Elixir or Cabochard by Grace. Gray? Gray? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Off 9, 9 p.m., I didn't. I know Becky won. I know that much. I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen with Jade Cargill. Damn, that was quick, LOL. Let's see. I don't get any black current. That's what I'm saying. I don't get the inky smell. I get more musky and floral. More musky and floral. It took me 10 weeks. About four and a half, almost four and a half years ago. The climate's very different now. Might take you a month, might take you a week, might take you a year. I don't know. That depends on you and your content and your visibility on YouTube. Um, so I don't know. It's The climate has changed drastically from when I started this channel. <clears throat> Ross is dropping. Rasasi, yeah. Hawaii. Of course I'm going to. Absolutely, freaking uh, When the right opportunity presents itself, I am going to buy it. Absolutely, I will have it. I've never even heard of that fragrance. <laughs> Great show, Sin of the Day, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, Eau de Parfum. That's under the radar. Really good release. Like it got love right when it came out, but you don't hear anything else about it. That's a beautiful vanilla, very smoky vanilla. Yeah, the no breakdown seems pretty nice. What are your thoughts on Amir Aoud Intense? So I'm not sure. I haven't tried that one. I haven't tried that one. But you're not going to want to hear this, but I would suggest saving the extra 50 bucks and just getting by the fireplace. You can buy the fireplace for 90 to 100 bucks. Just save up and get the real deal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to smell better quality. The, the clone, the Middle Eastern clone isn't going to be on the same level of the Margella fragrance. It'll be very close. Out in the air, I'm sure nobody will tell a difference. But just saying, you could save a little bit more and just get the real deal. And you actually go to certain Sephora's and try it, too. Because it's not like we're talking about some niche fragrance where it's super, super expensive. See, like Joel has experience with it. He says more sugary. So there you go. Never tried that. <clears throat> never even heard of it. I just can't find it anywhere right now. I've never even heard of that, honestly. Ooh, here's a great one. Because that's tough. Joel's going to say better for sensual. I don't even know if Joel's tried Wave Musk. but Every day, if you want something that, like, you have a small collection, you're not just collecting, you have a small little wardrobe collection, better for sensual is the better buy. You get way more use out of it. But if you want a great summer freshie that's pretty unique, Wave Musk. It's grassy green, grapefruit dominant, aquatic, saltwater aquatic, and still very breezy and clean musky. It's kind of like two different types of fresh fragrances combined into one composition. It's an incredible. Top five freshie from Mancera, top ten fragrance from Mancera, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I, I know you're a big fan of it. It's it's great. That's what I'm saying. If you're looking for an everyday fragrance, there's no there's no it's a no brainer. There's no comparison. It's going to be better for sensual. But like I said, if you're just looking to add something fresh, a more situational fragrance, if you will, Wave Musk is the route I would go. Because you can get a lot of fragrances that do the same job that Better Vesential does. Maybe not as good as Better Vesential does for the money. But it's one of the better vetiver, citrus vetiver fragrances out there. It's very fruity. Has a fruity sweetness to it while still having an earthy vetiver. It's really good. It's really, really good. Me and Joel hopped on the 60 mLs when they were 44 bucks from Fragrance Buy last year. Was beginning of this year, end of last year, something like that. I think it was end of last year. Talk about a phenomenal pickup. 60 mLs for 44 bucks. It's a great fragrance. I haven't worn it in a little while, but it's it's phenomenal. It is, it is that jam. To me, it is. It's one of the few that I have a bottle of because I just love it. I mean, that's a from a hype standpoint, no, I guess. But I mean, you can't judge that based off of any hype or how others feel. Just me personally. Ever since I had got a decan of it, I knew I had to have a bottle at some point. And luckily, I was able to do a collaboration with Twisted Lily last year, and they sent it to me. Um, so I didn't have to buy a bottle. It worked out because I, if I had to get rid so I only have like four, three or four Zerzhoffs. And if I could keep one, it would be that one. It would be Mephisto. I prefer Mephisto to Silver Mountain Water, which I have a bottle of Silver Mountain Water too. But I would take Mephisto. That's how much I like it. It just really speaks to me personally. <clears throat> Aqua de Jo Parfum. And for some reason, I get a weird off-putting note that reminds me of oregano. That's interesting because it's a lot of rosemary. There's a lot of rosemary in there. It's a green cooking spice. Not, not the same cooking spice, but that might be what it is. My is in the house. What's going on? We're in Polo Blue EDP. You sir smell incredible. I still want to try that one. I know that's got to be a great citrus. Looking forward to trying it out. Let's see. Recently got B612 from Nishane, and it has soared to my top three favorite fragrances. It's amazing. Beautiful cypress wood fragrance. Crate, speaking of versatile, that one is underappreciated as a great daily, quality daily wear. That's not super expensive. You can get a 50 ml for a little over 100 bucks, 105, $110. Sometimes you might be able to get it a little less, depending when and where. But for the money and for what you get, it's one of the better options to add to a wardrobe because it's very versatile, very, very versatile. It's, it's classy enough to dress up seamlessly. It can dress up, but it's not so serious that you can't wear it like I'm dressed right now. It really is that jam. I'm with you on that. It is that good. I, I've tried it once. It's been a long time. I know it's a bit more aquatic. Noel, good to see you. Just watching your haul vid, and damn, I love seeing all that. It was amazing. It was amazing. I encourage anyone that hasn't seen this morning's video, please go watch that. Spare 30 minutes of your day. Treat it like an episode on TV, including commercials. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, some impressive fragrances in that haul for sure. So we're about to shut it down here in just a second. We're at an hour 14. I've never tried that one. I've never tried it. Just ordered... Now, ooh, the Tuxedo Twist should be here on Thursday. Karagos, I've heard good things. I have a sample. I've never sprayed it. So we're going to go ahead and end it here on Noelle's, um, Noelle's comment. So let's see. Showing off those bottles got me thinking about a question for you. What bottle details do you like the most? Concave bottoms. I do like that. Matte finish is on the, lo is on the bottle, logo, atomizer, etc. For me, I... I like a, the feel. It's more about the feel than the aesthetic. Um, does it hold well? Is it easy to spray? Is it a pain in the ass to spray like the Nautica bottles? Think Nautica, Nautica Blue. Pain in the ass to spray. Pain in the ass to try to spray. Stuff like that. I know that's a cheap fragrance, but I'm just saying. that's it's What's the ease of use? Because that's what's most important. Cylinder style bottles is what I appreciate the most. Because they, they, they fit well in the palm, in the hand, and it's easy to be able to hold and have the index finger to do a nice, you know, a confident spray where you don't have to worry about the potential of dropping the bottle or short spraying or anything like that. So it's all about the feel and the function of the bottle for me, more so than anything visual about it. 
Of course, I love a good magnetic cap and a pressurized atomizer. But as far as the look of the bottle, it's not all that serious to me. Um, outside of how does it feel in hand when I want to go spray it. That's what's most important to me, regardless of what it looks like, the colors and, you know, contrasting details and things like that. And on that note, we are going to go ahead and shut it down, guys. I appreciate those of you that came hang out with me. Uh, always great to have you guys for a live stream. So tomorrow, I got a package from Omos. It was a big-ass box. When he sent me the receipt, I saw he paid 17 something for shipping to go from Orlando to, to Panama City. And I, I was like, what the hell did you do? He's like, oh, it's just some samples. I said, bullshit. You didn't pay $17 to send me some samples. So I got some bottles. I got a Penhaligon's fragrance he sent me, a low fragrance, L-O-E-W-E. -E, I think it's low. I, heard, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Milano Fragrance. He sent me a bottle of that. Like, I haven't sprayed them. But I'm so excited. I got four full bottles plus discovery sets and samples and decants like everybody's favorite Nigerian giant. I don't know if he was feeling froggy because I was the first person to advertise his his first piece of merch from WWE, his first shirt or what? Because it's literally the next day he sends me this. Hey, man, I'm sending you a package. So shout out to my man Omos, also known as Jordan, his actual name. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm talking about WWE's Nigerian giant Omos very good friend of mine has become a very good friend of mine so i'll i have to set that live stream up but that's going to be tomorrow's live stream so we got four bottles and then i'll pick a few samples but we're gonna be checking out some super generous random stuff that he sent me that i did not see coming total surprise so shout out to my man omos but thank you all for coming check this out make sure you like this stream before you leave if you're interested in checking anything out from aroma concepts you can always click the link down in the description there's a discount code available for you guys thank you aroma concepts for sending these my way. I can tell you right now, my wife is going to love this. I'm about to smell it on her momentarily. Uh, and you guys check out today's video from this morning. If you haven't yet, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a great rest of your day.